So Texas is known for its barbecue, its uh, Tex-Mex and things like this. We're also known for our Italian food. So today, where are we at, Nick? Polonas, Italian Grill. Look at this. We're gonna go inside and check out what they got on the menu. And I've heard this is some of the best Italian food up here in the Woodlands area. Dang There's multiples good. really good. So we're gonna go inside and check it out. Why don't you come on with us? Uh, I've known Phil for oh, geez, easily 20 years. Probably more because yeah. back from Jay Christopher's. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's where I got my start in the business. So. Yeah. So I used to go to a, re a restaurant called Jay Christopher's um, that he used to work at, and that was regulars at. And, oh wow! Yeah, and then uh, we ran into each other again at, when this was Skeddy's, right? Um, when George Pelota right. owned it. We started off as Skeddy's for the first seven years, from '94 to 2000, 2001. Then we just gave ourselves a more grown-up sounding name, but. Still, yeah. still Skeddy's. Right. So, still Skeddy's. Yeah. Still same, same type of menu and everything. Same type of menu. Yeah. Added some stuff, obviously, to it. But uh, yeah, Skeddy's is still on the menu. Nice. Phil, Phil's put some really cool, unique twists on this yeah. menu. <laughs> yeah. I mean, his monthly specials are, are, are pretty extraordinary. Pretty unique. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the one that I love a lot is uh, during Hatch Chili Month. Right. Uh, it's a green uh, Hatch hey. Green Chili. Can, uh, yeah, it's a hatch chili and chicken cannelloni. Cannelloni, yeah. AKA the Italian burrito, AKA the big dog. Yeah, after 27 years, you, you'd hope we have it down by now. Yeah, so, no, right? 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 <laughs> so, Dang, well, 27 looking, years. Yeah. 27 years. Yeah. We're getting old. Right. <laughs> and we feel it. <laughs> and we feel it. Well, we're looking forward to sampling this food here today and checking out uh, what you got on the menu. Awesome. So, this is our Alfredo, our version of Alfredo sauce, right? We actually call our Alfredo sauce Pavia sauce, just because we feel it's so damn good it has to have a name of its own. <laughs> That's all it is. Our, our Alfredo sauce is called Pavia sauce. We, um, we have used lots of heavy cream, half and half, whole milk, lots of garlic, butter, uh, different herbs and spices. We also take this sauce and we're able to make a lemon Alfredo or a, a basil pesto pavia sauce, a sweet bourbon pavia sauce, a creamy marsala pavia sauce. We, uh, we have many different applications for this. So, wow. uh, and we go through at least one or two 10 gallon pots a day. Oh. Yeah, we, we go through a lot. These mushrooms, they, these are hand cut mushrooms. We don't run our mushrooms through a machine. We literally hand cut every single one of them. And then for our dishes that use mushrooms, they're a sauteed amber butter mushroom. Meaning, instead of sauteing our mushrooms with olive oil, we saute them with amber butter, which is a rich, dark amber flavor and colored butter. So these are, these are some delicious amber butter mushrooms. Oh yeah, I can eat just a plate of mushrooms. Go that good. So Phil, you brought us out a dish here. What's this one called? This is the Benjamin. This oh. is the one that people rave about. They they come in without, they don't need a menu, they know what they want. They know so, it. This is a, a dish that has a al dente cooked linguine pasta with a cayenne pepper pavia cream sauce, large gold shrimp, spicy Italian sausage crumbles, hand cut amber butter mushrooms, and diced tomatoes. Whoa. Got a nice kick to it with the cayenne sauce. I mean, check this out. Look at that. We got some crab, we got some spicy uh, sausage in here. Such a true fusion of both Tex-Mex and Italian food. I'm gonna try it out. It smells delicious. Let's try it. Mm. Yeah, it goes down really smooth. On top of that, it's got a kick to it. It's got a little bit of a spicy kick to it. Uh, Phil was telling me that he uses these bad boys here, basically they're infused meatballs and um, these are really good too. I could eat these by themselves. Check that out. Really good. So this is a great time to let you guys know that uh, our videos are actually being sponsored today by Graphic Design FX. Graphic Design FX has been powering local businesses since 2005. They're a full service marketing company and they actually specialize in local restaurants and of course service companies in and around our area. They help small businesses both develop websites, they help them with their branding, and they also help them with printing, plus a lot more. 
I give them a call today. I have all their contact information down below. So check them out and uh, tell them Mike sent you. This is one of our signature appetizers called the La Chacla bread. La Chacla. La Chacla. <laughs> People have butchered that name for 27 years now. <laughs> so it's going to be a stuffed Italian flatbread. We make our own honey sweet dough, and then we smear it with some basil pesto, olive oil, garlic, spicy sauce with crumbles, mozzarella cheese, Parmesan or Romano cheese. So basically we're looking at a big pizza in front of us, and then we fold it into itself, put it in a pan, kind of make, rough it up a little bit, we let it proof, and then we oven bake it into this masterpiece. And that's an appetizer. That is an appetizer. <laughs> it's served with our olive oil and garlic spices and sauce, so you can dip it in there. I mean, just look at the bread alone. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, it's a piece of art. I mean, that right there is a video. <laughs> That's a piece of art. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think Phil's right. This is like a, kind of like a pizza dough, but now you got some olive oil on it, some cheese. I'm talking about a mouthful. This is well worth it. This is the appetizer to get. <laughs> So Phil was telling me about uh, his lasagna here. Let me get a nice piece. Mmm. So yeah, that's really good. It goes down easy. It's not like you're, you don't have to work for this. It just kind of goes in your mouth and it easily goes down. Tomato basil soup. Now, I'm a huge fan of tomato soup. I'm gonna check out Phil's version of it. Get a little bit, a little bit of cheese there. Let's try it out, look at that. This looks good. I think I'm gonna go to sleep now after I eat this. This is so wholesome. That is good. So Nick has a favorite dish here. He always has a favorite dish, but this one, this one, this one looks good. This has been one of my favorite dishes for dang near 20 years. Uh, chicken a la palata. Uh, these amber buttered mushrooms, we're talking grilled chicken, this lemony, um, uh, lemony alfredo sauce, uh, called pavia sauce, um, and then these breadsticks. Holy moly. Look at the Parmesan on the side, yeah. the breadsticks. So this, this is like a house brand. I think it's called Mary Cheese or Marie Cheese. Wow. Uh, so. Really looks oh, good. Oh, man. <laughs> Wish, like I said, we said this over and over and over. If they could invent smell vision on YouTube, right? you would be in heaven right now. Mm -hmm. It smells so good. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> There's no easy way to eat pasta. No. I mean, it's definitely not date food. <laughs> All that garlic. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, wow. I mean, I don't know what Phil and his team does to this chicken, but it's like perfectly cooked, perfectly seasoned. Mm. Really looks good. We've got some of our ice cream dessert here at Dominic's Muds that the special thing we make here. Oh, nice. I mean, there's no way we're going to eat also. We're going to bring it over to three guys. Here we go now. What do you think? Dang, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Huh? So you always got to finish up with your desserts. Look at this thing. I mean, and they make this here fresh, so this is uh, something I really want to try. So we got some ice cream in here. What all we got in there, Phil? There's a mocha almond fudge ice cream. Mocha almond fudge ice cream. Chunks of Butterfinger candy bar. <laughs> hot fudge and hot peanut butter drizzle throughout the whole thing. Look at that. And it has a nutter butter Oreo cookie crust. Good God, let's eat. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> Dang, that's good. So I will say, uh, for making ice cream dishes, this is this is decadent. <laughs> yep. I could definitely see uh, coming here and getting this every time. That could feed about three people. Mmm, that's good.
You gotta figure, these are the simple ingredients. But the way they're put together, it's just phenomenal. Yep. And um, you can't beat it without, you can't beat it with, um, you gotta have an Italian margarita with it. Oh. So they really do have it all here. I mean, they have great drinks, they have great food. Um, like I said, everything I've eaten here is just, it's just pure Italian. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. So there you have it. Fantastic Italian food from the Woodlands. <laughs> Stay. <Steak. laughs> but we are finishing up here. Believe me, uh, this is the place to come to for Italian food. Oh yeah. Chicken alla palata, man. Oh man, it's so good. That lemon pavia sauce, fettuccine, grilled chicken magic. So this is one of Nick's favorite places when it comes to that. So you definitely need to come up here and check it out. But I think that's all we got to say today. So we like and subscribe to the video, share these on social media, and we'll see you guys soon. Our next video, bye-bye.